It's still the same old story A fight for love and glory 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 Guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the vlog. Um, as you can see, another part of the Genesis Coupe came in. This is something I ordered the other day. Why is it so dark in here? Eh, whatever. Nice rainy day anyway. So that's something I ordered the other day. Um, and I will open it, but a little bit later on, I gotta get to the gym. Um, and then I'll explain what that is and show you guys what it is, as well as, um, I just wanna give you guys a heads up. Um, this weekend, I'm actually gonna do a video um, I was actually, um, one of the uh, newer subscribers asked for me to do a video about the um, oil, the turbo oil inlet or outlet, inlet tube. Um, so I'm going to do a video, it's a quick how-to video on how to change that. It's probably going to take like five minutes maybe um, to actually do the video. So um, I know, real early. Alright guys, so as you can see I'm ready. I'm gonna head out to the gym. Then we'll get back. I'll open that up for you guys so you guys can see what that is. Um, and then um, we'll have a little discussion. So yeah, let me get to the gym so I can come back and open it. Almost forgot you. Oops. <sighs> okay, there we go. <sighs> Some mood lighting. <laughs> All right, guys, so, uh, oops. Traction control off. That's how you drive a Genesis Coupe. Traction control isn't on unless it's snowing really badly. Um, so anyway, I wanted to have a, just a really quick discussion with you guys because somebody actually asked me today if I was ever going to get rid of my Genesis Coupe. Um, and short answer was no. Uh, but it brought up an interesting... It brought up an interesting kind of topic in that... Um, a couple guys already, like um, R Spec Ryan and um, Ryan's Random Rides. Um, R Spec Ryan got rid of his Genesis Coupe. Um, Ryan from Ryan's Random Rides is currently selling his Genesis Coupe. Um, so, of course, they all stay follow them as well. And um, they were like, well, are you going to follow suit and get rid of your Genesis Coupe? Um, no. Hell no. No. And the reason why I'm not getting rid of my Genesis Coupe is because I love this car. You, If you guys haven't watched the channel or you're new to the channel, you'll see that how much I have spent just on the motor that I'm currently building for this car. Um, and all the parts and things like that. I love this car. Yes, it's a Hyundai. Um, yes, it has its flaws. I expect it to. But I also love the car, and it's a challenge to me to see where I can take this car. Now, that doesn't mean I won't in the future get another car or two to the add to the stable, which currently only has one car, this one. Um, but... I plan on keeping this car. It's gonna, there's gonna have to be like an act of God. Somebody's gonna have to pry this car from my cold, dead, lifeless fingers for me to give it up. So I am not getting rid of the Genesis Coupe. That being said, there are two other cars that I want. Um, 
One is a Ford Mustang. For a Mustang was my first car. Um, so, and I kind of want a new one. And, or an Acura NSX. No, not this one. But an older one. Um, I just love that body, that, that, that original like Pin and Farina body style. I just think it's an awesome, awesome car. And, it, and it's rear wheel drive. I know people are like, oh, but it's a Honda, it's a Honda. I don't care. But again, that's in the future, hopefully as the channel grows and things like that. So let me know what you guys think about my car choices. Um, I do make fun of Mustra Mustang drivers, but I was also a Mustang driver and I would love to be one again. Um, but again, not gonna sacrifice sacrifice this car to do it. So um, let me know what you guys think. Let me know what you guys, you know, what your opinion is, is, is on that and whether you would go with getting a Mustang first or getting an Acura NSX first. Personally, I want the NSX first. So, dude, damn, this dude's like tailing my ass hard. Anyway, um, so let me know what you guys think about that. But now I gotta get to the gym. And we're back, done at the gym. And, oh, sorry, turning the car on. Um, and I made a mistake. And that mistake was doing legs. Now, doing legs exactly wasn't necessarily the mistake. I went in there to do legs, and boy, did I do legs. Now, I know you guys saw a couple video ago, videos ago me doing um, legs in the gym earlier, or then, and that was actually, I think that was last week. Ooh. Okay, anyway, that was last week. And one of the, one of, somebody pointed out that I was not going all the way down on my squats. And part of the reason why is because I have a bad knee. Now, this week, what I did, I didn't film it because eh, you don't need to see it twice, but this week lowered the weight and what I realized, what I realized was my feet were in the wrong position, which was causing my feet to hurt, my uh, knee to hurt. Um, so today, got my feet in the right position, got my butt practically all the way down without any knee pain. It's sore now, but hey. Um, but the mistake I made this week has nothing to do with that. It has to do with the fact that I did legs, I went hard tonight, my legs are already sore, and tomorrow we have to go to New York City and I know we'll be doing some walking and I know my legs are going to hurt. So pray for me um, if you do that type of stuff. I figured I'd bring you guys along with me tomorrow. Let me see how Lisa feels about that because she doesn't like being on camera. I clearly do, look at this pretty face. And you know, Lisa and Cam going in the Knicks Celtics game tomorrow. So that ought to be pretty fun and awesome. So um, yeah. There was my mistake. So I'm gonna head home. We'll open that box that came. Um, we're gonna do it a little bit later though. Um, so the next time you see me, we'll be opening that because uh, Lisa doesn't know about it. And if you guys tell, ah, there's nothing I can do about it. I already own it. <laughs> so yeah. Oh, also too, that discussion that I was talking or I was having with you guys about um, not getting rid of the Genesis Coupe. I'm not getting rid of the Genesis Coupe. I just wanted you guys to know, like, the reason why I kind of brought it up was because it was just interesting that everybody else, you know, when 
not everybody else, but when YouTubers or um, other people get rid of their cars and their channels kind of centered around it, you know, people get upset. And, you know, it's kind of one of those things where it sucks, but, you know, sometimes people get bored or they want something different or they really want their dream car. Um, so, you know, I didn't mean to call out somebody like um, the Ryans, R-Spec Ryan and um, uh, Ryan's Random Rides. Um, I just wanted to point out that they had gotten rid of their Genesis Coupe or in Ryan's Random Rides, he is getting rid of his Genesis Coupe. Um, and that's their prerogative. Um, me personally, like I said, not getting rid of this car. I'm going to add to the collection. Um, I think this car is very important because it's where I started um, as far as the channel and things like that. And, you know, there's still a lot of things that I want to do to this car anyway. So, and I want you guys' input. So I just wanted to clear that up. Um, again, wasn't calling anybody out. Um, I just, you know, they were just two examples because they have a Genesis Coupe. So, um, yeah, like I said. We, I will uh, go home, and then a little bit later, we will open that box that came. So, you know, hold your horses. exactly what it is if you didn't see what's on the box already then you could probably guess or maybe you can't so let's get this open it dented my box this is what okay we're good ACT. All right, guys, so I know exactly what you're thinking. I know you're thinking it's a clutch. Well, you're partially right. It's actually open. Um, Timber? Timber. Uh, check this out. That's open. I haven't opened that yet, so I don't know what happened. Maybe this was too heavy for the packaging, but that's kind of weird, but okay. Anyway, what I went ahead and did after talking with Donnie, um, Donnie is the one with the, uh, what I call the Godfather 240. Um, he said that I should, I could order the actual clutch disc without, um, ordering the full clutch. So that's what I went ahead and did. Um, so I'm going to, when I replace the, uh, I'm going to basically only replace the clutch disc. Um, and I should be fine. Uh, so this is what I was waiting for, but this isn't the big thing I was waiting for. So anyway, um, I'm going to put this in the garage right there. And um, yeah, we're going to continue the build. Um, I, I should actually get most uh, some things done probably tomorrow before we go to the game. 
um, but if I don't, then definitely on Sunday. So um, I will make sure to film that. I'm also, don't forget, I'm also going to film how I changed the uh, uh, turbo oil inlet tube um, um, because it was requested. So I will do a quick video on that. And um, I still got to edit another video. So um, again, for some reason, this is telling me I've got three minutes, I think, of HD time left. I don't know. Um, but, so I'm going to end the video here for tonight. Um, let me know what you guys think about this video. Definitely, um, like, share, comment, subscribe. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Um, if you don't already know, the channel is growing and it's because of you guys. And it's all because of you guys. I just put the stuff out there and you guys keep coming back and listening and you subscribe. So I want to say thank you very much. Um, if you haven't watched any of the other videos, go back a few and watch, um, the, uh, Genesis Coupe motor build and things like that. Um, let me know if you guys have any questions. I will definitely answer them. Put them down in the comment section of the video that you're asking the particular question about, and I will answer them. Um, if I don't answer it right away, it's because I'm at work or something else like that, but I will answer. So until next time, um, like I said, make sure to like share comment subscribe let me know what you guys think about the uh cars that i said i wanted to get next uh, again i'm keeping a genesis coupe ride or die keeping that genesis coupe um you know like i said the nsx the mustang let me know which one you think i should get nsx first um if i can at some point um so anyway until next year until next time make no limitation your only limitation peace Thank you.